the 2024 Northeast Conference Men's Volleyball Championship is presented to you by the First Point Volleyball Foundation. We welcome you to St. Francis University and inside De Gaulle Arena where the hosts, the St. Francis Red Flash, will finally make their appearance in the 2024 tournament. The Pioneers have sort of slowly gotten themselves back within one point here after they went down 3-0 early. And through the block, Andrew Deerdorf. Mucherino added something extra there. Zini. Diving dig from Mucherino. Point stays alive and a big time block from Deerdorf and Lane. Mossbacher. Overpass. Forget it. The setter, Ryan Parker, puts it away. And the red flash. See their lead grow to four points here in the first set. This one's for a ticket in the finals. The St. Francis red flash on top by four in the first set. And put away. Santa Cruz has cut the Pioneers deficit to two. And his teammate who's uh, the one middle blocker. Can't make errors on your serve at this point in the set. But instead, it's Deerdorf who puts it away. 25-22, the regular season champs take the first set over Sacred Heart in the NEC semifinals. Zini leads the way with seven kills. Really impressive so far for Santa Cruz, how he's been able to be as effective as he is. Uh, hitting well over 500 now. That joust the net. Santa Cruz is blocked. It was rather predictable where that ball was going. He didn't have a lot to go with. On the first set, 25-22. And they win the second set, 25-19. Ryan Parker with authority. The setter puts it away. And St. Francis are on the verge of punching their ticket to the NEC Finals. Yeah, both teams now kind of doing what they want offensively, both above 400. Zinni, a oh, good dig by Mucherino. Sent over on a free ball. Zinni again, Terrassa got there. Mucherino off the block. Great defense there by Sacred Heart. So good to try and spread it out and find some offensive options elsewhere. And we can see the difference when Mark Berry's is not available right now. And we saw him last game, what he was able to do. And that's a big time ace. Ryan Parker has given them a four point lead. Looking at a potential at large bid. Yeah, yeah, that, would, that, that could have been a, a very different situation for them. But just talks to the quality of the NEC. Right. Mucherino and the Pioneers have three straight. They're not going away. You love to see that out of your middle attacker. Zinni up by one on serve. And he clips the back line. Match point opportunity. Sacred Heart trying to pump up the bench. Lily on the serve. Well handled. Off the block, Nathan Zinni has sent the red flash to the title game. The St. Francis red flash sweep the Sacred Heart Pioneers and punch their ticket 
into the title game on Saturday. Austin Rooney, Ben Kaysen, we're joined now by the player of the game and the NEC player of the year, Nathan Zini. Nathan, congrats on the win. Thank you, thank you, really appreciate it. You got off to a really fast start today. Big kill numbers in the first two sets especially. What got things going for you in the early going? Uh, I, I just think me and our, our setter, Ryan Parker, have a really good connection. And like with the passers we have and the, the way we run a pretty fast offense, it, it's pretty easy to get in a groove. So I, I just think the, the guys I play with make it super easy. And they allow me to just go do my thing and hit some balls, have some fun out there. So I, I just think the team we have makes it really easy to try my best out there. Zinni, kind of talk to us about that mentality out there from the service line. You guys got nine aces today. What are you guys kind of talking about pre-game kind of leading you into being so successful serving? Yeah, so we have a pretty aggressive serving mindset, but at the same time, it's kind of suited to the personnel we have. So we got we got some cannons from the service line, and we know that we have to try to use them to our best because if we just, you know, put some easy serves in, then we might be missing out on some good point scoring opportunities. So we kind of know when we play, we're going to weather the storm with the misses because we're eventually we're going to force our uh, team out of system, uh, our opponent out of system, and we're going to get some aces there. So Rummy does a great job of instilling confidence in us to let us go back there, toss into the court, and rip away because we know we, we put a lot of work in, in our serves in practice, and we, we just trust that work we put in, honestly. Nathan, you guys were up in the third set, and then Sacred Heart came back and tied it at 20. Can you walk me through your mindset on the service line when you're able to give your team a few point lead there in the yeah. very late stages of the third set? Yeah, I mean, uh, when I, like 20, 20, third set, th those are the, the moments you live for as a player, right? You, you don't get that chance every day. And I just kind of tell myself, you know, you do this every day in practice. So just just imagine you're like sitting on this, this ox gym right now, fourth court. It's Monday afternoon, you're coming in getting service reps. So I, I just try to trust the work I put in because uh, I, I just think that's that's the best way to go about it. You know, if you if you do it a lot, then you're you're just gonna eventually try to build a little bit of trust and confidence that you know, okay, it's it's just like practice. Go up there, like I know I can do this, and it's just a couple more people in the gym is kind of how I like to look at it. Congrats, Nathan. Congrats on the win, and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now we are joined by St. Francis Red Flash coach Mike Rumbaugh, and coach, congrats on the win. Thank you very much. That was a really tough match there. We're actually I love to come out on the winning side. I know a lot of coaches talk about how hard it is to beat a team three times, but you just managed to do it against Sacred Heart. How was it getting this third win in the tournament in the biggest of moments? Uh, we've had many, many, many battles with Sacred Heart, the, uh, and they're never easy. I know that. The uh, the win in three in a row. What made it tough about this one, it's going to be tough against Damon too, is it was so long that we played them, so we had to do everybody back to back. The, uh, that was almost before spring break that we actually played those guys. So the timing of it was kind of rough too. Scout report, we had to trust what they did against the other guys. But I, I love the fact that the guys battled and took that, that set, the last set, and one in three, and we got three wins over in the season. Coach, we talk about how you're leading the nation in aces per set. You know, what is that mindset? What are you kind of talking to your guys about going into that that led you to have nine aces today? The, uh, we talk about don't worry about making the error. Stay ultra aggressive because even we don't get the aces, I'm not sure how many overpasses we cost them to give us today. The, uh, but just the fact they're out of system so much, and when you got two great pin hitters, it's so much easier to get out to those pins, guys, if you don't have to worry about a middle. And I thought our servers really took their middle attack totally away. The, uh, I'm not even sure if they had six attempts in the middle today, but... I loved how, how aggressive we came on the end line today. What's going to be those keys for success leading into Saturday's match versus Damon? Uh, same deal. Just be who we are. The, uh, stay with that aggressive serve. Eliminate those middles, and hopefully we can slow down Snyder the, uh, on the right side and get out to the left side pins. But the, uh, I think it's all a matter of can we serve tough. If you miss a serve and the middle doesn't get to play, no big deal. Thanks, Coach. Congrats on the win, and best of luck on Saturday against Damon. All right. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Austin.